second graders. This is Mrs. Lord, your music teacher. This week we are going to be working on our ta and our tt notes. Now some of you might be thinking, Mrs. Lord, what are you talking about? You've probably seen them before. They look like this. Their real names are quarter notes and eighth notes. Ta, tt. The really cool thing about music notes, my friends, is we use them in all of our music. In fact, a few weeks ago on our Google Meet, we learned a song that went, Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? Remember? And when we sing that song, it's completely made up of ta's and tt's. I'm going to show you how right now. Right here, my friends, is what we would call a rhythm. A rhythm is a bunch of different notes that you put together in a pattern to create music. So this one right here says ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Can you practice that at home with me? Ready, go. Ti ti ta, ti ti ta. Very good. Now listen to what happens when I put words to it. Apple tree. Apple tree. Look at that. That was our song that we did before. We just added some notes to it. Apple tree, apple tree. Let's see if you remember what our next rhythm was. Will your apple fall on me is what it sounded like. What notes would we have to use to fit that pattern? Will your apple fall on me? Would it be ta 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 hmm that doesn't work does it ti 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 ta will your apple fall on me that was our next rhythm now my friends we're going to be practicing a bunch of rhythms in just a moment and they match up with one of our songs of the week the song is called in the Hall of the Mountain King. It's a classical music song, my friends, but it's actually still used today in a bunch of movies and commercials and TV shows. So I think when you hear it, you'll understand that rhythm already. Okay, here comes those rhythms. Now, my friends, we're gonna break down this rhythm. So let's look at it first and we'll break it down. It's all gonna be made up of ta's and tt's, and then there's gonna be one new note for you to learn today. So here's our first pattern. Now let's break it down. What I mean by break it down is look at each individual note first. Let's see, this first one over here, is that a ta or a tt? That's right, that is a TT, those notes that are connected together by that flag, that line at the top, good work. So if that's a TT right there, what's the next one? Hmm. That's right, another TT, good work. And I bet you already know what this next one is. This is a TT as well. And then after that is what? A ta. Good job, my friends. So if we put it all together, it would go t t t t t t ta. Say that with me. Can you clap that rhythm with me this time? One, two, ready, go. T t t t t t ta. Great work. Let's look at the next one. Do you think you could just do this rhythm right away, clapping it with me? Let's give it a try. Look at it. One. Two, ready, go. Ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Wow, that was great already. Let's look at the next one. Okay, this one is only made up of one type of note. Which type of note is it? That's right, those TTs, otherwise known as those eighth notes. Let's say it together. One, two, ready, go. Ti, 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 ti. Great work. Here's the next one. Oh, wait a minute. This has something new. Hmm. Every other time we've had about four 
collections of notes, four beats worth of notes. But this one we have a TT worth one beat, and another TT worth one beat. But then we have this new note, but it looks a little bit different. Hmm. That note, my friend, is called a half note. And what makes it different is it's longer than one beat. In fact, it's two beats long. So instead of sounding like this, T T or ta, it's held out longer. So it sounds like this. Ta. Can you practice that with your hands? Ta. Very nice. So this rhythm, my friends, would be T T T T ta. Can you try that with me? One, two, ready, go. T T Ta! Amazing! And you just learned another note. Now you know quarter notes, eighth notes, and half notes. Now, my friends, there is a link I would like you to practice with. It's going to be practicing these rhythms, and they match up to our song of the week, In the Hall of the Mountain King. I'm so excited for you to practice along with it. Are you ready? Here we go! there my friends so now we are going to listen to in the hall of the mountain king and we're going to clap along with the rhythms we know all of those notes now the tts eighth notes ta quarter notes and those ta half notes that are a bit longer than the other ones so let's practice just this first one on the screen so you'll see how it'll go let's look at it hmm I see lots of TTs and then one ta. Let's do it all together. One, two, ready, go. T T T T T T ta. Very nice, my friends. Now when I click play, the music's going to start and you have to clap along to the rhythms as they go across the screen. Are you ready? Here we go. These are tricky. We're wrapping up at the end of this lesson. You have one more thing that I would like you to do for your seesaw assignment. The really, really neat thing about music, my friends, is that it's always there to help us deal with certain emotions or understand certain emotions, and especially to help tell a story. The music we've been listening to today, In the Hall of the Mountain King, it was written by a man named Edvard Grieg, and he was born in a place called Norway, all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. It's a country in Europe. And like a lot of countries, my friends, they have fairy tales and tall tales to help teach lessons to their kiddos. Now, Edvard Grieg, when he was growing up, he would hear these fairy tale stories and it inspired him to write music. In fact, In the Hall of the Mountain King was written with a specific story in mind. And that story follows a boy named Peer Gint, and he liked to tell stories that weren't always true. And in this story, my friends, he's going to meet some trolls. Now, my second graders, we know 
that trolls are imaginary creatures, but like a lot of different fairy tales, they'll use imaginary creatures to help tell that story and to help teach a certain lesson. So I have a clip for you telling you the story of Peer Gint and the Hall of the Mountain King. And I want you to watch that video if you can. And once you're done, I want you to think about what lesson we were supposed to learn from that story. Peer has a problem and he learns a lesson of something he's not gonna do ever again after he meets these trolls. So watch that video, my friends, and then in Seesaw, record your answer telling me what you think the story was teaching you. Alrighty, my friend, have a great week and I can't wait to see you on our Google Meets. Bye-bye.